So uh, if you look at the mining industry today, and despite we've had some major technical developments in um, across shipping, processing, load and haul, things like automated trucks, for example, the drill and blast area has been an area that hasn't really got the, the same level or hasn't had the same level of attention paid to it. As a result of that, uh, a limited uh, innovation, uh, our rework rates and costs in drill and blasts are quite high mm -hmm. and the performance hasn't really uh, improved other than inc incremental improvements. So Roy Hill being a, a world-class uh, mining operation, we represent kind of the next generation of integrated iron ore mining rail and port projects. So our, our model is that we operate uh, end to end from um, from drilling and blasting all the way through to shipping so the drilling and blasting component is very important for us it, it is also a major um, cost of our um, of our operation so we're quite proud to say that we've actually used a lot of the technology and application of innovative thinking uh, as part of driving uh, continuous improvement in our operations one of, and as I mentioned before, we've had this gap in uh, drill and blast. And so one of our, um, our innovations has been to partner with a company called Orica um, to develop a, uh, what we're calling design for excavation, DFE. And this is a solution that optimizes the blast um, by creating what we call like a digital solution, which connects all the various disparate data sources around drill and blast and then uses algorithms to allow that uh, more informed decision making to happen on blast design. And that, that has a number of benefits, uh, including cost of, uh, cost of operations, so the type of product used for blasts, uh, as well as increasing and improving our, our excavator dig rates. Uh, a lot of the recent developments in drill and blast have focused on the measurement and the data capture and uh, and then we rely heavily on very experienced um, skilled mining engineers to uh, translate that data into some decisions so the idea here in the why, why dfe design for excavation has been so unique is that it's focused first on the customer's targeted blast outcomes and then connecting the data that we've already captured, say, through our, our drills uh, as an input for an automated design optimization. And I mentioned it's performed by smart algorithms and sophisticated modeling. And Orica's had a, a team that it's uh, used in, sorry, I'll start that. Orica has used a team to develop these algorithms, but also we've, we've provided some of our uh, algorithms from our own uh, analytics team. We have a very strong and capable analytics team within Roy Hill. Uh, so they've worked in partnership uh, to develop these, uh, these algorithms, which then Orica can use as part of its baseline product. Okay, so we've used, I, I mentioned the technology we've used is around design input, blast design, execution of blast design and the connectivity. So if I, I cover off design input, uh, we've used a lot of the uh, data that we get around the visibility of the hardness of rocks through our autonomous drill data, and we call that measure while, while drilling. That's the information that the algori algorithms that we've provided to Orica. The blast design, so the drill data is then used to develop unsupervised and supervised machine learning algorithms, and this generates some complex loading rules for each hole within the blast design. And then with the execution of the blast design, we use the blast design information, uh, which is uploaded directly into the control system on the high-tech explosive trucks, uh, which are Orica's trucks. And that allows the recipe for each hole for the blasting to be delivered just with a single button press from the operator. And then the feedback loop, which is really important around the data, after the blast helps us improve the machine learning algorithms. Finally, we've got APIs that are developed using cloud services platform to connect our planning to our execution phases.
It certainly has. It's made a positive difference in, I mean, ultimately it'll increase the safety and productivity outcomes because you're, you're automating more of the work that would have been done by human beings. Uh, but we're also allowing people to focus on more value, value added work. Uh, it's also going to make a positive difference because it's going to be able to be used across the industry. Uh, so it's not just something for Roy Hill, it's uh, something that can then be applied across other, uh, other areas and other miners, uh, other construction organisations. The other uh, positive difference is it increases the consistency of our blast outcomes. So it really allows Roy Hill to more effectively plan and configure our operations. So from pit to port, so we realise some of the optimisation benefits right across the value chain. So it allows us to, to increase the precision of our planning uh, across the value chain. So Oric has got a, a quite a sophisticated roadmap um, that it will be working with moving forward. And the whole idea is they want to fully automate and integrate drill and blast environments. So that means designing for excavation is to be able to train the, what they call the energy matrix, complete the automation integration, and then expand the scope to drill design, and then progress that further into um, uh, automation into bulk explosives uh, and, and the, what they call WebGen 200, which is um, wireless blasting. So it's in line with Orica's overall strategy around automating the bench and that's actually in line with Roy Hill's smart mine vision and that's around for mine automation it's end-to-end -end automation so you basically remove people from the pit and that requires integration between all of the systems that operate uh, it in it requires that uh, you've you've automated all the equipment and then you've got the necessary data and algorithms to be able to continue to make the smart decisions.